What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Crystal Walkthrough, the 2022 edition. 2023, maybe? We'll see. Alrighty, so in our last episode, we went to the Ruins of Elf for the first time and discovered a few things, you know, the unknown. Got our Pokedex updated just a little bit. Hmm, what else? Yeah, pretty much it. So now it is time for us to go straight to Route 32 and take care of some business right there because we need to progress right here, guys. We need progression. We need to hatch an egg. We need to capture new Pokemon. We need to make sure that our Pokemon are nice and leveled out. Now, once you leave uh, Violet City, you get to talk to this guy and he's like, you have some good Pokemon there. It must be from the training you, got, you gave them around Violet City. The training at the gym must have been especially helpful. As a souvenir of Violet City, take this. It increases the power of grass that Pokemon moves. And we get ourselves the Miracle Egg, or the Miracle Seed, which will actually power up some uh, grass that moves, you know, by 10% and all that stuff. So let's go right ahead and grab that, not this. Let's go ahead and grab this, okay? Let's go down here, and uh, look at that. We got ourselves a Miracle Seed. Let's give that to Chico, and crap ass, because I completely forgot about Unknown. Yeah, give me a second. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, so we got rid of uh, Unknown. Completely forgot that I had him on my team. Now, first is first. Let's go ahead and take a look at this egg. It's making sounds inside. It's going to hatch soon. Oh, okay, so this might be the episode where we finally get a Pokemon right here. So, here we are in Route 32. We're going to be finding some interesting Pokemon. Let's see if this is the Pokemon I want to see. Hmm, where'd you look at that? Okay. So, I know that I always go back and forth with this one. I don't know, probably because, uh, yeah, <laughs> it needs a little bit more time, but yes. Yeah, here we are with Wooper, the water-type Pokemon that you would actually try and get. And this Pokemon actually, you know, it, it's a pretty good Pokemon when you think about it, guys. Not the fastest later on, but it actually, you know, it, it's actually a very useful Pokemon in the very beginning, so, yeah. We're gonna capture this guy, have him on our team. You know, even at the, le the the playing field just a little bit, because remember, we do have two other Pokemon on our team that have been traded, and we kinda don't wanna have them grow too quickly right now, because, well, the limitations on the badges, yeah, it's not gonna help us out right now. They're not gonna listen to us. So, here we have Wooper, the water fish Pokemon. A mucus membrane covers its body. Touching its barehanded uh, will, or t touching it barehanded will be shooting a, will cause shooting pain. So it's kind of like poison. Yes, we're gonna give it a good nickname and uh, well, say hello again to our good old buddy Lucky. Alrighty, Lucky, how's it going? All right. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at Lucky, the Whooper. So as you can see, guys, it's both a water and ground type Pokemon. It is very useful when it goes up against a, an electric type Pokemon. Only has two moves. It's yeah, it's its stats are pretty good right now. And if you guys remember, in the older version of Pokemon Crystal, I did have a Wooper, and I did switch, uh, I did swap him out for Nessie the Lapras. That is not going to happen right here. I got a little, I got a little something else for this uh, situation right here. So, let's go right ahead and do this, okay? So, right now, Fluffbolt, actually, yeah. Right now, Fluffbolt and Rocky, we can't really grow them too, uh, too much right now because they will not listen to us, so we're going to be moving them uh, away. Tornado is going to stay with us for another episode, another episode or so going into the gym battle because it does have a distinct advantage against the next gym. And, uh, well, this guy right here, believe it or not, I can't wait till it hatches. Okay, and yes, there's going to be a lot of heavy editing right here, guys, because we're going to be battling a lot of these guys. Okay, so that was probably uh, my bet on my behalf, because I did not know that you can actually find yourselves a... Uh, you can find yourself a whatchamacallit, a... What's his name? A Ghastly. So, yeah, we got licked, got paralyzed, so yeah, we got to use one of these guys up right here. All right, let's go for a battle right here. I haven't seen you around before. So you think you're pretty tough. No, I know I'm tough. I'm the toughest one out here. Okay, so here we go. Take it on youngster Albert, wanting to battle us, and he's going to be coming out with a Rattata, or Rattata, or however you guys like to call it. I really don't care. 
I call it Ratata. All right, let's go. Razor Leaf for the win. Look at that. Razor Leaf taking care of business, and this Ratata has been defeated with a critical hit. And thanks to that, we grow to level 14. Okay, so let's see. Who's next? Albert wants to tell, come out with Zubat. I do have the Pokemon for that. Let's see what let's see what Fluffle can do, okay? If it doesn't listen, then we're gonna have to restrict those Pokemon for the time being. Alright, Fluffbolt, how's it going? Fluffbolt, let's go with a Thundershock, and uh, okay! So it works. It does work, but I'm not gonna push my luck right here, guys. I'm just, you know. Gotta get rid of the type advantage, disadvantage, and all that stuff, and Albert has been defeated. He's like, you're strong! Yes, I am. Alright, let's move on right here. Do we take the short way or the long way? There's a Pokeball right there. There's a female right here. Oh, crap. Okay, so let's go with the Pokeball first. Bam! Grabbed ourselves a Repel. The, one of, the only one of its kind until maybe Goldenrod. Yeah. Gotta love these Pokemon right here. Okay, so let's see. We do have a trainer right here, so let's go right ahead and grow some levels for Rocky. Lucky will get its turn in just a little bit. Uh-huh, yeah, uh, yeah, you know. Pardon, battle? I'm on the phone! Oh, alright. But make it fast! <laughs> She's gonna tank the battle for us, I bet. Okay, so here we go. Taking on Picnic Girl Liz, and she is coming out with a Nidoran female. Okay. Let's go, Rocky. Rocky Balboa. Let's go with a Screech attack right here and be all strategic majig. And well, that sharply has fallen. And there comes a tackle attack, which is not going to be super effective. So let's go straight for that tackle attack yet again. And maybe, maybe we should go for one, one more Screech. What do you think, guys? I'm going for the Screech. So let's go straight for the Screech. And Nidoran has... Yes. Has no defense whatsoever. That Screech. I don't know how, how Rocky would do his Screech. So here we go. Tackle attack. Nearly defeats this guy. Okay. Alrighty. Not super effective. Let's go straight for a tackle attack. And oh! Nearly defeats it. So here comes the tackle yet again. Critical hit. Let's go! Tackle attack again. And there goes uh, Nidoran Female. And that nearly grows Rocky to its ninth level right there, so... Wow. <laughs> okay. Anywho, let's move on right here. I think... Yeah, if you talk to her, she's gonna want to battle, so I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna try and get any phone numbers right here. So, we got two ways to go. We got this way or that way. I am assuming that we're gonna be going this way, just to take care of that guy. Let's go right ahead and give Lucky a try. Let's go. Let's see what we got. Okay. That glance. It's intriguing. Oh, that means that I'm gonna win. That's that's just, you know, how I look. Alrighty, so here we go. Taking on Roland, and he is coming out with a Nidoran male. Okay, so we might have to switch. Yes, we are, because, well, level 4, level 9, that's obvious. Uh, that's an obvious loss right there. So, let's go right ahead and go with Tornado right here. Give it a little love. It does have a little bit of attack right there. So, here comes Tornado. And here comes the Tackle Attack. Not so effective. So, here comes a Peck Attack yet again. And, ooh, nearly beats him. Alright, Tornado. They don't like you, and I don't like you either. So, here we go. Another Peck Attack. And that Leer Attack is not going to work. So, here comes Peck again. And there goes Nidoran Mail. And bam, we get some more experience points. And well, Roland has been defeated. Hmm. This is disappointing. It is. It's very disappointing. Alright, let's move on right here. And well, we don't get attacked by a Pokemon, but we got some fishermen right here. What is going to happen is. I'm going to. Yeah, I'm going to go with both Chico and Fluffbolt. However long Fluffle wants me to go, so let's go right here. Whoa! You made me lose that fish! Mm-hmm. Okay, so here we go. Taking on Fisherman Justin. Coming with... Magikarp. Really? Okay. Alright. Maximum effort. Let's go with a Razor Leaf. 
Okay, here comes the Razor Leaf, and that right there will take care of Magikarp. And, well, let's see, that's 21 points. Yeah, that's not going to be enough right there. Eh, let's continue on. Yeah. You, got, you, you guys got to love the whole Magikarp battling thing, because it's not the most fun. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to be going up against Magikarp. So we're going to speed it up just a little bit right here, so I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so we have defeated Justin. Yeah, I, I think that's probably what I'm going to be doing. If we have a trainer who has Magikarps, we're just going to be spe like we're just going to speed through it because really, who wants to see a battle against Magikarp? So here we go. My Pokémon freshly caught. Okay, so we're probably going to beat this guy pretty badly. Alrighty, so here we go, taking on uh, Fisher Henry. And he's coming out with a Poliwag. Believe it or not, you can actually capture this Pokemon at night. So, yeah, keep an eye out for that one right there. Let's go straight for your Razor Leaf attack right here. And that Poliwag has been defeated. And, ooh, nearly grows to level 15. All right, let's give Poli or Fluffolt a little help right here. So here comes Poliwag. How's it going? Chico, Como Ustez, and there we go. Fluff Volt, let's go with a Thundershock, and here comes Le Boble Attack. Chris Jericho would be proud of me for this one, and Fluff Volt, yes. It will not listen to me, it's still at a, uh, yeah, we, we, we're still kind of like, you know, at odds. Instead of use Tackle, okay. Yeah, so we need to win the next badge in order to actually have this Pokemon, you know, listen to me. And there we go, Thundershock has done its trick. There we go, and bam. Fluffle grows to level 13. And, well, Fisherman Henry. Splash? Yes, Splash. Okay. And because of that, our mom is going to call us. She's like, hi, Draven. How are you? I found a useful shopping item, or item, shopping. I bought it with your money. Sorry. It's in your PC. You'll like it. Hmm. My mom using up my money right here. Hmm. Alright, so here we go, taking on another trainer, and I'm really good at both fishing and Pokemon. I'm not about to lose to any kid. Hmm. Okie dokie. Let's go, Smokey. And here we go, going up against Ralph, and, uh, well, he's coming out with his Golding right here. Alrighty. Maximum effort. Let's go, Chico. Do it for Chico State. Never went there, but you know what I mean. So here goes, a Razor Leaf attack for the win. And, oh wow, Goldeen, <laughs> surviving. All right, super effective right there. This is probably where we need Mareep and all that stuff. And there you go, Mareep, or not Mareep, but <laughs> Chico does it again. And there you go, level 15. And, well, we're trying to learn Poison Powder, so this is actually... This is actually a positive right here because we can take away Growl and actually use Poison Powder for sticky situations if you catch my drift. And look at that, Ralph has been defeated. Alrighty, okay. So, let's see, what's next? We're close to being done right here. Yeah, there's a trainer looking up. Let's go get that item. And look at that, we found ourselves a Great Ball, which is a very useful item. And, well, let's see. Let's go with Lucky right here. And let's go right ahead. And, ugh. Okay, moving on forward right here, guys. We battled a few, a few Pokemon just to level up a few certain Pokemon right here. So let's go right ahead and take on our next opponent. And look at that. Youngster Gordon wants to battle, and he's coming out with his Wooper right here. Look at that. Okay, Wooper is looking fantastic. All right, Lucky. Lucky versus Lucky, that is not going to work, so let's go straight to Chico, and uh, yeah, that is enough, let's go, come back, and here comes the Tail Whip attack, that right there is going to lower our defense, so let's go straight for that Razor Leaf attack, quadruple damage, just remember that guys, it's quadruple damage, if you're taking on the Wooper, and bam, there you go, okay, so look at that, Lucky grows to level 6, Chico growing some levels itself, and there we go. Youngster Gordon has been defeated. <laughs> you really thought you could win, okay. 
Alrighty, so let's see. Let's move on forward right here. As you guys can see, you talk to this guy. How would you like to have this tasty, nutritious slowpoke tail? For you, right now, just a million dollars. Would you want this? No, because, uh, yeah, slowpoke tails. Seriously? Okay, so two things, guys. Before we finish off this episode, let's go right ahead and battle this guy. Not go to our Pokedex. Let's go straight right here. And switch it out to Rocky, because that is a grass type, or that is a, uh, what was it called? A, a flying type trainer right here. That badge. It's from Violet City. You beat Faulkner? Yes, I did. Very easily. Not really, but <laughs> you guys know what I mean. Alrighty, so here we go. Take it on Bird Keeper Peter, and he's coming out with his Pidgey. Okay, hopefully he doesn't have Mud Slap or anything like that, because that would be bad. That would be really, really bad. Alright, Rocky. Screech attack. Misses. And here comes the tackle attack. Holy crud. Okay. It's a critical hit, really. <laughs> it only took one HP. So there we go. That's one. Alright, Rocky. You can do this. Do it for Adrian. That's right. You know, Clever Lang and all that stuff. Do it for Adrian. And, well, here's another defensive uh, loss. Tackle attack yet again. And let's go straight for a tackle attack right here. And that nearly defeats Pidgey. Here comes a tackle attack yet again. Not so effective, but here comes another tackle attack. And Pidgey has been defeated. Bam. Level 9. Okay. Rocky's uh, catching it. He's catching it. And, well, here we go again with another Pidgey. So let's see what happens right here. Let's see, okay, let's go tackle attack. And that doesn't take a lot. Well, in in this turn in this, these kinds of terms, yes, it it does take a lot, and wow. Alright, we're gonna speed uh, speed through this right here. Oh yeah, we're fighting for our lives right here. Holy crud. And there you go, Spiro defeated. And Rocky has grown to level 10. Yathur and has learned bind. Okay. So there we go, we have defeated a Peter, and he's like, I know, I know what my weaknesses are. Yeah, you only have one type. Anywho, let's go straight to the Pokemon Center right here, guys. Now, to finish off this episode, if you talk to this gentleman right here, he's like, this is a great fishing spot. You saw people fishing? How about you? Would you like to get, would you like one of my rods? Sure, let's go ahead and get this rod right here. And yes, we're now an angler because we got ourselves the old rod. And fishing is great. If there's water, it, it'd be, or to the sea of stream, try it out with your rod. Okay, so, yeah. Anywho, here we are, guys, in, uh, well, let's see, where, where are we? Yes, okay, so, we're going to pause the episode right here. In the next one, we're going to be going into the Union Cave and going straight to for Azalea Town. Yeah, going to Azalea Town and see what the whole situation is right over there. If you guys want to make a small donation to this channel, yes, the, you know, heart button right there, press it. Small donation, keeps this channel running. And yeah, if you guys want to be a member of this channel, yeah, it is now open. In November, we will be coming out with Pokemon Silver, that way, for members only. That way you guys can catch an adventure right there with, you know, some Pokemon you've seen before. Thank you guys again for watching, I will see you guys next time.